hello friends welcome back in today's video we are going to see uh, when we are supposed to create a chart be it pie chart bar chart line chart what is the preferred way of doing it is it excel or is it ppt let's take a deep dive on it i have excel open with me let's go back to excel where i have already created a pie chart so here is my data and here's a chart created and this is how we do it in excel but usually these charts and information is always presented in form of ppt so what we do is we just copy from here and let's go to a blank slide and just paste it here so this looks awesome if i do a presentation mode it looks awesome now what's the problem the problem arises when we have to edit the data we have to change the data we have to delete the data so how we do that so for that purpose, let me close this Excel. How we do it? We just go do a right click, edit data. Now you can see at the top, the path of Excel is my local system. And that is where the problem. The data can be manipulated in the Excel, add and delete, and it will be reflected in the PPT. But what if I have shared this PPT with someone else who is not having the same Excel with him or her, then he can't edit the data. And that is where the problem is. It always has to plug in with the Excel. And that is where I prefer that we create this pie chart in PowerPoint presentation instead of Excel. So that, we, that, so that we have a dynamic data to it. How we do it? Let's go to blank slide. Go to insert. Go to charts. Let's take a pie chart. Let's take a 3D. Okay. So you'll see we have a pie chart uh, here and we have a embedded Excel to it. It has some default data. So let me close this. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use the same data. Let's go to Excel. Just copy the data. Close Excel. Now I'm going to go here, say added data. It's a Excel which is embedded with the PPT. You don't need any separate Excel. Just paste it here. Say OK. OK. Now you'll see the chart is updated here. Here we go. Now, every time, if we need, any time we need to update, add, delete, we can do it dynamically. How we do it? Just go to edit data. Let's say I want to add one more record here. I can say August and I just add it here and it will be reflected there. You see the August? So this is how I can dynamically edit the data, modify the PowerPoint presentation for my charts. Now, let's look at the other part of the video what the other benefit we have so what we can do it let me squeeze it so couple of options we have in powerpoint first thing is we can change the chart type we have multiple types here we can choose anything let's i'm using this one this looks good i can use this one so there are various options available that's first thing second thing is that uh, there are multiple options here if you go here just click on plus you see chart title so here's a chart title i can remove it i can keep it i can update it Let's say I want to change this to revenue data. So now let again click, go to plus sign. We have chart title, we have legend. You'll see the legend is here. We can put it right, we can put it top, we can put it left. You'll see it is changing. We can bring it bottom and we can just let it go away also so that we have more space here. We have plenty of options the data level. If you go in data level, you will see uh, where we keep this number, center, inside end, outside end, best fit. So go to more options. Now go here, you will see what you want. You want category name, you can keep it, you can remove it. You want value, you can keep it, you can remove it. Show the lines, you can remove this also. So let's say I'm keeping a category name and value. So these are plenty of options. This is one way of doing it that we can create a chart, a pie chart in PPT. We can add the data, we can delete the data, dynamic data. Anyone who is having the PPT can make the changes. The other benefit of it is, you know, I can change the color. I have plenty of colors here. I can change the color, take any color. Let's do one more thing. So I can change the chart type also. So let's say if I do control D and make a copy of it. I have a pie chart and I want to convert this to different chart type. So let's go here, go to change series chart type, change chart. I can choose column, see here. 
now i have a same all kind of options available here i can choose whatever i like most let's say i use this one this looks good now i can remove uh, data labels from here let's say i don't need category name i just need value i can just keep it i can also change this font i can change let's say century gothic i can change the size i can do control b i can change the color all these things can be done i can remove this so go here just say i don't need the uh, title i can remove from the top and if i don't need the uh, legend i can remove it also red lines can be removed data labels can be kept can be removed all these things can be done okay so this is one way of doing it now similarly i can have let's say control d uh, i can have another chart type go here just to right click change chart type i can take line so let's say i want to choose this one this looks good i can change it i let's stay under the control d let's do control d i can change this to change chart type let's say i want to take bar say okay see so there are various ways i can manipulate the same data let me do a slide so we can see we have a same data in form of pie chart we have same data in chart in uh, form of a line chart and all the forms available i'll show you we have here column chart line chart pie chart bar chart we have also this combo chart which i'll cover into some different sessions but we can change the chart type in as many form as we want it depends how you want to depict the data the good part is that the data which is kept here is completely dynamic i can change i can add the row i can delete the row and anyone who is having access of this ppt can the data can keep the data dynamic so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching this if you like this video please subscribe my channel for future videos thank you very much